Welcome back to Fishing Barren Sea. Here we are in our beautiful Scuttlebug, the Hermes. We're just coming um, into the open sea now. You can see we've got is that 600 meters, 575 meters below us. So I think we can start to uh, cast off our nets about here. Um, yep, nothing around us but a few little seagulls, which I'm sure will increase very soon. Right, so let's get all the guys on the set trawl. And the idea is what we're going to try and do is earn enough money to pay off our loan. We've got about 18 million pound loan, if you remember. We're almost there. 17,756,722 is our monies. Um, but yeah, we're, when you think I'll probably need to spend about 3 million just on fueling or refueling, it's going to be um, quite the challenge. Right. Let's come over into the back seat. And uh, we can start our um, trawl. So open the doors, doors go in, nets go in. There they go. And the seagull starts to get a little bit more excited. Ooh, they say. Mine, mine, mine. Okay, now we have to look, look at our thing. Oh, so we got some... What's the depth on that? Can you see? I can't quite... I can't quite read it because of the, the colour. Uh, what speed are we going? Two knots, that's fine. We'll let that drift down. All looking good. So, as that starts to... So we could probably turn a bit to 37.7. So if we turn slightly. No, it's the other way. Gently. Oh, it's a bit, oh, it's a bit too um, vicious, that. Real gentle on the old controls. See, so I've got a bit of, bit of a twist going on there, but that's okay. Let's try and drag around slightly. Oh, the seagulls are increasing. And <laughs> the birds are coming, everyone. Yeah, that seems to have been just a, a small amount of fish. You can see we're coming up to 10% full of the nets. So uh, what we might do is just hold it here for a second. Just hold it here. And obviously they're the doors and the net will be... Where's the net? So they've got length that is 100 metres. So they are at uh, 72 and 59 metres and the bottom will be at 100... And, so that'll be about there. So we should be scooping these in. So yeah, just got about 12%, 13% at the moment. Nothing terribly exciting here, is it? It's just small clusters of fish, nothing major. Maybe we can go for this, this larger um, section over here. Now let's start dropping them down a little bit further. Oops, that's up. Draw it down, down. Try and keep them nice and even. They're a little bit skew whiff, as you can see. So what we might do is just hold that, uh, hold that one, which is this one, and this should continue to drop down. Obviously, because we're extending, we're still letting um, the green one. Uh, drop down. Right. Let's get them going down again. Uh, we've got concentration of fish over here. You've got these, obviously, these ones, but you're looking for a dark orange red, really. Um, so let's continue to uh, turn this way and see if we can get down to this uh, this area here. It's 317 meters, it says there, and we're nowhere near that depth. So, yeah, we need to 
extend these out as far as they can. And you can start to see as you get deeper, you get richer concentrations of fish. So we'll continue to turn that way. They're getting down there, down to 200 meters almost. So they're at about 315, I think it was. 317. quiet on deck. Actually the guys, whoops, uh, the guys we can use the phone, we can actually let these guys have a rest now. They've done what they need to do, we can control it with the um, the controls. Right here, so down to, there they go, going for a bit of respite. Um, there you go, this is what we want, over here. And that's 340 metres there, and that's even further down, so that's going to be about 400 meters. It's coming down to 200 now. Let's get this turn going. See the wires there. You don't want to, don't want to get them twisted or anything crazy like that. Gently turn around. A bit more thrust. You've got to do really long turning circles, otherwise the wires just go all over the place. Okay, bottom of the net, or the mouth of the net is coming down to 230, 240 metres now. So we're getting there. Seagulls are amassing, you can see the wires, it's actually coming through the side of the boat, that one, by the looks of it. That's not good. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, that's not possible. Obviously, that'd be rubbing like anything on there. But if we continue straight, eventually that will sort itself and right itself. Oh, we've kind of missed that big lot of fish now. Okay, we're now catching this group of fish here. You can see it's coming up to 20%. In fact, we're going to hold there. So that's 370 meters, 280. Oh, so we're catching. Uh, maybe it's not those ones. That's yeah. So, not the starboard door is far lower than that. Look at that. We need them to even up a little bit. Once they even up a little bit, this will get to a better depth. Because you got you got to kind of if that's at 292 and that's at 250, so it's about there. So the the the, the mouth of the net is kind of all skew with like that, which is not good. But it's it's doing okay. Look, we got 50%. You know, so that says 40%. That must be 40% because that's clearly. 50% of our catch, isn't it? So that's going to be 10, 20, 30, 40, no, it's like 10. 10? 20, 40, 60, 80, and the 100 will be at the top. Oh, what's this down here? That could be the seabed, actually. Let's just have a quick look. Is that the, um... oh, we don't have any monitors here. Let's have a quick look on this one. Oh, it's this one here. No, there's no seabed there. It's all about 500 odd meters deep. That's a pretty interesting graphic. I don't know what it means. <laughs> I will have to have a look at that one again. I've never actually switched over to there and seen there. That's quite interesting. Ah, so we've got some more over here.
Swing the boat over there. Careful of the wires once again. That's much better. That's much healthier. Oh, look! Shark! Oh, it's more likely to be a whale. Where's the door? How does one that? It's over here. So anyone who's been playing this game, how are you getting on with your fishing? I hope it's going well. You're probably um, reasonably impressed, like me, with the number of um, patches we've had recently. There's been so many patches, uh, which is good. Uh, it's a shame that they're all about 1.2 meg or gig each, but um, I know they are looking to reduce the side. No, no, it's a different game actually. I was reading that, uh, but yeah, there's um, a lot of changes been and improvements been made to the game, so that's. You know, it's rough with the smooth, especially when you've got a poor internet connection like mine. You know, I, I don't particularly like large um, patches, but they are all good. Okay, yes, it's getting orange, more and more orange. What's that? That's 265 there, so we're, we're at not bad. We'll get them dropped a little bit more. And we're going try and get over to that large yellow bit over there and hopefully you can see our doors are all at two different heights one at 135 one at 225 which is not very ideal at all so I might hold that one and let the red door Expand out a little bit more. It's 20 meters less wire, but almost 100 meters less uh, depth. But obviously, we are turning, which is affecting the water flow over it. And obviously, it doesn't drop when you're uh, when it's being pulled because it's on that side. Okay, we're coming into these patches here and you can see we're catching more and more and more so we're up to 60% now we might actually be able to um, complete our our catch on this these small little pods of pods of fish shoals of fish shoals dolphins and whales are in pods aren't they yeah I hope we haven't got any dolphins or whales we're not here to catch <laughs> mammals we're here to catch the fish so we've got about 70% fish in the net at the moment. See these are evened out nicely, even though there's different lengths of meat of uh, wires being sent. Um, and that's down to 2.7. So that's 2.4, so that's down to 2.8, so we should be coming through that nicely now. Maybe we're a little low. Don't seem to see the catch indicator going up much. Maybe we can um, start to pull those back a little bit. No, nothing much from them by the looks of it. Let's uh, try and turn into that a little bit more. Seems to be getting bigger as we get closer. Nice red in there. Nice. Let's try and let's just hold those. Just trying to aim to get actually in it. Let's turn into it. Oh, it's getting bigger, bigger, bigger. And this should be a nice catch. Yeah, there we go. Yes, look at that. We're filling up. No, 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 no. Oh, almost through it. That's almost full. It's not too bad. 80% full. We'll just give it a little bit more, see if we can catch a few stragglers. Have a lovely bit of coffee. No, that's probably 
a lot, is it? Let's give it a quick turn this way. Let's see if we can manhandle a few more in. Now let's start bringing that up then. Oh, that's down. Up. Up. And we'll start the the, uh, the long process of reeling in 424 meters of uh, wiring. But yeah, 80% full. That probably bring us in, uh, uh, depending obviously the the makeup of the catch. But um, it's been bringing us in quite good sales. So yeah, we got 2.9 million the time before, 3 million, 2.5, 4.2, 3.9. Three, two million, one point one, two point three, sixty-one thousand. That must have been with the other shit, was it? So yeah, we've been catching an average of about two million worth of uh, fish each time. So yeah, it's not too bad. Let's get these boys uh, set to haul the trawl in. Haul the trawl. Heave, ho, and haul the trawl. Good. Right. As we pull these wires in, seagulls go absolutely bonkers. I love the the the, uh, the reflections in the water, the clouds and stuff. That's nice. It's really pretty. It's looking really pretty, and the performance has been improved as well, which is wonderful. So I do know some of you are having problems with the performance, especially with the the um, the catching game mini games. You know, when the you're spiking a a fish on the long lines, or doing the uh, the 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 key push pushing for the um, the net hauling on the smaller ships. Uh, so hopefully, with these performance updates, uh, you may be able to have a much more fluid experience in your gameplay, and hopefully that will help you become the fishing captain that you want to be. How are we doing? That was a massive. Nah, that's, that's about 400 meters. That's 375, so that's going to be 500 meters below us. And we're hauling these in now, so. Yeah, I'm still going to drive forward a little bit. You never know, we might be able to get a few stragglers on the way in. And that's 375 meters. That's, no, nah, that's quite deep. So we're about there. Okay, as we bring the nets up, you can see we're just catching a little bit more to max it out, which is going to be perfect. Look at that, maxed out. Lovely. Um, still got quite a bit to go. 220 meters on that one, 160 meters on that one. The boys are reeling in as best they can, uh, but it's not going to be. It's not a quick process, and a lot of work needs to be done. So we'll just stop bringing the ship to. Uh, more of a crawl because obviously they don't want to be pulling. They don't want to put excess strain by pulling against the uh, the friction we're creating by pulling the uh, the nets forward. Okay, back come the doors. We're going to raise the trawl net. In she slips like a I don't know some foul creature from the bottom of the sea. And the seagulls. Do their Baywatch slow flybys. Oh, that one dis disappeared. But in they come. Right, we're raising the troll net now. Lovely. And let's empty it out of all those delicious little fishy wishies. Boom. Right, let's empty them out and see what we've got. Oh, this is always the, the fun bit. Work out what we're going to get. Hopefully there's a lot of cod, because that's paying well. Okay, a lot of haddock. Uh, 5,921 haddock. 1,700 pollock. 275 redfish and 769 cod. Okay, well... That's um that's what it is. Let's have a quick look at roughly what the 
the uh, what am I looking for? Prices. So Pollock, where's Haddock? Do we not catch any Haddock? No. Okay, fine. Um, we'll check that back when we get back to uh, back to port. Now, let's get the boys. Um, you, you on the ice. You on the machine gutting. You on there. You on there. You on stacking. Right. We'll get these guys working these fish through the system. Uh, you can see actually what we'll do. Let's get you. We're going to set the trawl net again. We're going to start trawling again. Try and catch some more fish. And while we're trawling, we're going to be um, uh, processing these fish. You can see another catch on the same kind of average will get us probably about two th uh, two thirds full. So uh, that's what we're going to do. So in the nets they go, and we've already got a. Uh, let's get some speed forward. And what's that? Oh no, that was just from the previous image, so we don't have to worry about that. We're on a bit of a, a bit of a wave there. We're okay though. We've got some fish over there, so we'll slowly start to come over that way. Oh look at this! Our catchometer. <laughs> We're up to forty percent already. a very rich part of the sea. Right, uh, so what we can do is get these boys doing what I just asked them to. Get them processing that as quickly as possible. Because usually this takes, you know, about 10-15 minutes to get another net full. But uh, it doesn't look like we're going to take that <laughs> quite so long this time. So, um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. But so far, um, it should be quite a quick catch. So anyway, we're going to continue on for a moment, trying to fill, fill this net and get the other fish processed. So I'll bring you back when we're ready to haul this in. Welcome back, guys. We have now filled the second net. So let's start um, pulling this in. We've got some f a few meters to go yet. They're still processing the uh, the previous lot of fish. Oh goodness me! They're going to have a hard day's work today. But when you look at it. How much of a cut of the fish they take? Look at that on the so on the previous haul. Um, let's have a look. So where are we uh, on the previous haul? Um, Care took fifty six grand, almost fifty seven grand home. Uh, Tor took forty one. George took eighty five and. Olav took 31 and a half. You know, they're, they're, not, they're not earning bad money, I tell you. Not earning bad money at all. So I don't mind beating them and um, working them to within an inch of their life to uh, make sure they um, build up. The one good thing is that their stamina has increased enormously. George's stamina was a tiny little bar, if you remember, to begin with. And, uh, and they're all improving the more we, more we work them which is really good to see uh, let's hop back in how are we doing 170 odd meters still to be reeled in so once it gets to 25 we'll need to move them on to the uh, the hall trawl location and then we can um, pull in the net and uh, raise it and drop all the fish and see what we got on this second catch but yeah it's all going well all going well um so I'm, I'm guessing we'll probably head back to port after these two catches. Normally I'll probably stay for a third, depending on the, the quantity of catch. Uh, but we'll probably head back after this one. The thing is, I probably, as I said, we'll probably bring in about two, 2 million, probably something like that. And that'll probably just pay for our fuel. So I don't think we're going to quite have enough to pay off uh, the loan we took out on this baby quite yet but that's okay that's okay it's, it's all takes time it all takes time um, and then obviously there's another 14 million we need to make for the lunar bow which we're also gonna look to get uh, so tell me what else would you like to see from this game you know we, we've covered pretty much all the fishing side of it now we've done the long lines we've done the uh, haul, trawling we've done the uh, the net fishing um, we haven't seen the lunar bow obviously people wanna, will want to see the lunar bow but um, 
yeah, anything else you'd like to see from this game? Um, I think we've pretty much covered all bases now, so uh, we can probably look to um, look for our neck. No, we can probably uh, look to step away from uh, fishing Baranci for the moment. Well, we'll do the odd video every now and then. Don't worry, we're not going to completely abandon it. But from a series point of view, we've been playing this, you know, quite frequently now, uh, and I think we've seen pretty much all there is to see. Unless there's something that you'd like to see, which you haven't let me know. So let me know in the comments if there is something you'd like to see. And um, let's get him on there for a second. Uh, and uh, we can see if we can uh, bring a video of that. Right, coming up to 50 meters now. I just wanted to stick um, Tor on there for a second because his machine cutting is really poor. You see, he cuts 200, 424 fish an hour on the machine. So he needs to skill up on that, but I really don't have the patience to let him skill up on it. Whereas George, he's, he's the machine gutting king. He really is. How are we doing? Okay, we're getting there. Right, Tor, hop onto the, the hall, please. 24, 25 meters. Let's haul that in then. Lovely. Here we go. Let's get rid of that. Oh, in she goes. Look at this. Ugh, cameras all over the place. There we go. So if we have a look, how much have we got? We got uh, 28 tons of fish still to... Uh... Still to process. Um, I'm wondering how much more this is going to add on there. Ooh, stretching out a little bit. Empty in the trawl there, ready for our catch. Stand by everyone. This is the moment of truth. What are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? What are we gonna get when we Cod, Haddock and oh nine hundred cod, uh four thousand six hundred Pollock and sixteen hundred. Okay, well, that wasn't that wasn't as good a catch. So it's about what was it? Would I say twenty eight or something, wasn't it? Yeah, so we caught about high 80 tonnage there which is okay uh we're just over half full but i tell you what we are going to start head back and see what we can get um for this uh for this haul because um we need to go and get some cash in oh, we've got plenty of money and i've probably stay out here a little bit longer no actually i'm going to stay out here longer but we're going to do another haul i think yeah we are we are in fact that is exactly what we're going to do we're going to do another haul so sorry guys before you do that Back on the troll, we're gonna set the nets going again. Um, boom. We're gonna do another catch. These boys are gonna have to work really hard, but we need the cash, so we're gonna fill the boat up before we head back. That's what they do, that's what we're gonna do. Right, now that that's in the water, we should be able to put these onto the duties. Yeah, we can. Good stuff. Right, they'll get their processing done, and we'll go for another fish. I'll see you back in a little while again, and hopefully we'll have uh, near a full capacity of the ship, and then we'll head back to, to port. Okay, here we are. The third and final trawl catch being pulled in, ready to raise the net and see what we've managed to catch. It's not been a great one. We've just got over 60% on this catch. Um, but time's pressing on, and we need to get head back pretty soon. So uh, the area I was fishing in didn't seem to be that very uh, very well populated with fish stock. So um, we may need to have uh, moved. We've, you know, we've basically done two, two good trawls and this one in the same area. So uh, maybe we need to move away a little bit. Uh, or it could be that we're just facing the wrong way and it could be just to the side of us or behind us. We don't know. But nothing too much was on the old radar. Boom, there we go. 2,400 Pollock, 2,200 Haddock. Good. Um, the good news is we... Uh, it wasn't much, 43,000. Right, let's get old um, George on that. Let's get these two on old icing. 
and Olav, you can go on stacking. There's a lot of stacking to do. Uh, these guys have been resting because they're pretty tired. Uh, what we're going to do is head back to um, port now while they're processing the fish. And hopefully uh, it won't take them too long. Obviously this will be done. This will be done. It'll be getting the ice in, into the stacking, which should be um, the time-consuming bit. We're three quarters full, which is okay. Uh, it's not, not going to be our best haul, but... Um, Hopefully it'll bring in a few pennies, which will be the name of the game. So we're going to head back with that rather low isolated snow shower over here. Um, oh, it's just ending, I think. Uh, we'll leave it there, and I will bring you back in the port, or nearing the port. So I'll see you in a few. Welcome back. We're just coming into port now. Look at this. Beautiful. The light glistening off the water as we just see the purple thingy on the water, I can think of a descriptive word there, the purple thing on the water which designates where we're going, uh, would help if I'm actually in the right seat. Good god, I mean, reversing all the way there. Come look at this, you can tell the work they've done, it looks so much better now, um, all the options on and, and stuff, it looks absolutely gorgeous. I've got a large ship here, just here, uh, as we're going to come past. I'm not quite sure what that is. It's not a Hermes, but it's a similar large fishing vessel by the looks of it. Uh, we'll come in and take a look. Hopefully there's... Um, we are steaming in a little bit quickly, aren't we? 11 knots. Okay, let's just back off the power a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is nice. Little, little fishing boat tied up there. Got this large ship here. Not sure what that is, but um, it's not one of the obviously the player controlled boats. But it's a pretty awesome looking thing, anyway. Maybe it's like the early version of the uh, the Hermes, maybe. Right. Eight knots. Let's slow it right down. We're steaming in here. A little fishing vessel down there. Kind of between the otter's pocket and the orchestra. We've got some more fishing vessels behind this key, if you see there. And a pleasure cruiser by the looks of it. Nice. I'll dock up here and see what we'll get for this catch. Um, I don't, I'd say, I don't think it's going to be enough to pay for the uh, loan outright. Um, so we're going to have to probably do a few monthly payments. Yeah, let's dock it. Boom, there we go. So in total, 43,000 kilograms of cod, 98,000 kilograms of pollock, 72,000 kilograms of haddock, and um, 2,200 kilograms of redfish. So you can see the prices here. So Pollock's actually oh no, it's because of the sheer volume I guess. Sell oh just under five grand, uh, five million. Well, that's not a bad, not a bad haul at all. And the boys, the expenses they took three hundred fifty-seven thousand home as their paycheck, which is pretty damn sweet. Yes, I worked them hard, but that's good monies. So we got twenty-two million as they try and dock this ship up. Donk, donk, donk. Donk. Okay, she's in. She's in. You can see some of the uh, the older vessels, smaller vessels here as well. Uh, there's a job going by the looks of it. Um, for six million, keep up production. Uh, Forsol Fishery is in desperate need of additional fish. The fishery was willing to pay 23 krona per kilogram if you deliver 289 tons of oil. Of, uh, of Pollock in the next seven days. Bearing in mind, how much Pollock do we get on that one? 20, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, about 100. That's a lot of fishing to do. Yeah, you can do it if you're dedicated, but uh, we're going to probably give that one a miss because we'll probably fail it. Um, and while, you, while you're doing that, it keeps all the Pollock for the for the mission. And then, obviously, all the other fish you have to sell to keep your your uh, your hull free, as it were, um, to get the rest. So it's more than two trips, usually. Um, right, the Lunabao 
she's here. And she's for 15 mil. We could say screw paying off the loan. We could just buy the Lunar Bow. Uh, what are your thoughts? We can go for Pollock and Mackerel with the Lunar Bow. If that's something we should do, or do you reckon we should just pay off the loan and stick with the Hermes? As I said earlier, if uh, the things that you want to see us do, then let me know and we can uh, see if we can justify them. We can pay our loan off. Look at that. So I I know what you're going to say. You're going to say buy the uh, buy the Lunar Bow and we'll go with another ship and see how that goes. Uh, but we'll leave it there. Please put your comments in the section below uh, and give your suggestions of what else you'd like to see in this uh, video series as well. And I will try to accommodate if I can. Right, we'll leave it there. If you've enjoyed it, please hit a thumbs up. And if you want to see some more, please hit a thumbs up. Let's try and get at least, I don't know, 100 likes on the video. It's going to be a tough one, but let's see if we can get 100 likes on the video. And if you like what you've seen so far and you want to see some more, make sure you don't miss out by hitting that subscribe button and tickling the bell next to it so you get all the latest notifications into your feed. Cool, right. From the Scuttlebug Hermes, I will see you next time.